Pilgrim State was created out of former Portugal State on the 23rd of September 1987 by the then military head of state, Ibrahim Babangida. This signaled the end of many years of struggle and agitations. Akwaibum is made up of a homogeneous group of people believed to be originated from a single ancestral stock. The languages spoken in the state are closely related. Ibibu, Anna, and Oron languages are mostly identical with a few dialectical changes. Eket and Ibano are more likely related to each other than the other three and are only understandable by speakers of the other two languages. The first military governor of the state was Colonel Tunde Obeha. Colonel Tunde, who hailed from Kogi State, ruled the state between September 28, 1987 to August 1, 1988. He introduced a mass transit system in the state to boost the transport sector, known as Ogbeha Bus. He laid the pioneering and foundational framework for the state to take off. He was succeeded by Colonel Godwin Abbey from a dual state, who ruled the state from August 1, 1998 to September 9, 1990. Colonel Abe, who was known for his pragmatic leadership, was known for personally inspecting projects awarded by the state government. During his reign, the Ibom Plaza was constructed and the Aquabon Broadcasting Corporation was commissioned among numerous achievements recorded during his tenure. Colonel Godwin Abe was succeeded by the first indigenous governor posted to the state, Group Captain Idoiset Nkanga, who ruled the state from the 9th of September 1990 to January 2nd, 1992. Group Captain Idoiset Nkanga demonstrated passion and commitment in his desire to develop the state not only as an indigenous, but to record landmark achievements for posterity. During a brief period of his tenure, barely one year, he built a state secretariat named after him today as Idois Nkanga Secretariat. His signature project, along with others, signaled him out as a patriot and an excellent Christian soldier. The government of President Ibrahim Babangida started its transition from military to civilian government with him as a military president. During this time, Obong Akbani Semen was elected to the first civilian governor of Akwaibom State under a military president. Obong Semen ruled the state from January 2nd, 1992 to November 17th, 1993. He really focused on rural electrification to stimulate growth and promote entrepreneurship, stopping urban migration. His structural mental adjustment program can never be forgotten early making an acquired person to realize self-confidence and start thinking big. He described himself as the captain of the proverbial Ubum Noir's Ark and expected all acquired to be a part of the voyage. Also, significantly, his role in the abrogation of the offshore onshore dictamy during his tenure by President Ibrahim Babangida, during which Aquaibum started enjoying 3% of the revision from oil revenue. During his tenure, General Sani Abacha took over the government from Chief Ernest Shokon after President Babangida stepped aside. This brought back the military to power. The administration of Obongi Semen ended without him completing his tenure in office. He was replaced by Lieutenant Colonel Jacob Bako from Kaduna State. Colonel Bako ruled the state from December 1993 to August 1996. Colonel Bako's tenure, among his numerous achievements, recorded a significant project, the Sani Abacha Hospital, also known as the University of Uyo Teaching Hospital, which served the medical needs of the people in the state till present. A naval officer succeeded Yakubu Bako Stenner in the person of Navy Captain Sunday Adeusi from the August 1996 to August 1998. From Ondo State, Navy Captain Adeusi's passion for sports was legendary. He initiated and supported the formation of the first state football club to play in the Premiership, the Boom Stars. 
The club recorded tremendous achievements in the professional league and during his tenure, the Oyo Sports Stadium was upgraded and given a facelift. May his soul rest in peace. Navy captain Sunday Adeusi was succeeded by group captain John Ibiye. Group captain John Ibiye had an uphill task of superintending the transition from military to civilian rule in the state. He ruled the state from August 1998 to May 1999. During his brief but eventful reign in the state, Ibiye built and commissioned the 100 unit house in the state known as Ibiye Heaven along Udodoma Avenue in the state capital, which has also gone a long way in taking care of housing needs of the people in the state. General Abdul Salami Abubakar handed over the civilian government in the country in May 1999. Under the democratic dispension, the first governor, architect Obong Victor Atta, known as the father of modern Okwaibom, was notable and admired for his doggedness in fighting for the oil producing state to control their resources. His resource control efforts, along with other counterparts within the state, and his region led to the approval of 13% derivation for oil producing state in the country. Obongata's tenure witnessed long term projects that led to the foundation of growth in the state. His investments in Econet and profits realized was invested in the building of the Boom Airport, now named after him. Other projects include Le Meridien Ibom Hotel and Golf Resort. The airport he envisioned included maintenance, repairs and overall facilities. He built and dualized a wrong road to the airport, its our market and other numerous projects. Obongata's tenure ended after his eight years in office and was succeeded by Chief Godswill Akpabio. Chief Godswill Akpabio conquered physical and human underdevelopment broke barriers, giving a Kwabom state a legacy that future generations will indeed be proud of, which is why a Kwabomites call him the promise keeper and the uncommon transformer as he continues to prove that governance can work in Africa. Some of the legacy projects recorded during his tenure were the Hilltop Mansion, Banquet Hall, the E-Library, the Godson Kwabio International Stadium named after him which has a 30,000 seating capacity, Ibom Tropicana, a three-point Sheraton hotel in Ikorik Bene, networks of roads, flyovers, and several other achievements scattered across the state. The tenure of Chief God Swilakpabio ended on the 29th of May, 2015. He was succeeded by a professional banker, Dikon Udom Emmanuel, who took over from May 29th, 2015. Till date. Policy thrust of his administration is to aggressively industrialize the state and continue to attract foreign investors. The goal is to make the state an industrial hub of Nigeria. In line with his industrial drive, some of the completed projects include coconut planting and refinery, quality ceramics, a case international market, Ibom Airline, Tropicana Mall. Gas processing plants, waste to health plants, with numerous others. Seven years down the line, the government has achieved so much in the course of transforming the land of promise from the civil service state to an industrial environment. As the state celebrates 35 years of statehood, we congratulate all the past and present leaders for their fatherly and pioneering roles played towards positioning the state for greatness and actualizing the dreams of the founding fathers of making a Kwaibom state the land of fulfillment and industrial and hospitable destination. Happy anniversary to all Kwaibomites.